아쉽다. 오늘 이상한 책이 한개 이야기 읽어드릴게. 읽어드릴게요. 오늘 이상한 책이 읽어드릴게요. 읽어드릴게요. The religious leaders told the governor Pilate that Jesus was dangerous and wanted to be king. Pilate asked Jesus, Is this true? I am king. Jesus answered, But not of this world. Jesus is innocent, said Pilate. There's no reason to kill him. I will set him free. But the crowd shouted, Kill him! So Pilate had his soldiers whip Jesus. They forced a thorny crown on his head. Then they laid a wooden cross on his back and led him up a hill. <gasps> Who wanted to set Jesus free? Come on. There on that hill, the Roman soldiers nailed Jesus to the cross, hands and feet. Then they raised it high. Jesus hung there between two criminals. Around noon, the sky turned dark. Jesus' friends wept. The religious leaders laughed and said, You saved other people. Why can't you save yourself? Forgive them, Father, said Jesus. When the time came for Jesus to die, he closed his eyes and said, It is finished. He had completed what he had come to do because of his great love. <sighs> Jesus' followers, a man named Joseph, put Jesus' body in a brand new tomb. He rolled a huge stone in front of it. A long, sad Friday was over. Did Jesus die on the cross because of his great love for us? Yeah. Come back. Jesus was buried in a tomb. Yes. True or false? Oh, yeah, 정답. 활동을 해봅니다. 나이 활동 완전 좋아하는데. 저거 제. 첫 번째는 이거. 이거. 
go on. You can't touch a ghost, and ghosts don't eat either. But I'm feeling really hungry. So he ate some fish. Then he taught them. The scriptures are clear, he said. The Messiah was supposed to suffer and die, and then be raised from the dead. Now tell the world what you have seen. Let everyone know that their sins can be forgiven if they turn to God. It's possible because of what I have done. Jesus told his disciples to go and tell everyone in the world about his good news. Yes. True or false? Yeah, 정답. 이번에는 이거 읽어드립니다. Into the clouds. 읽어드릴게요. It was time for Jesus to go to heaven. He led his disciples to the top of a mountain near Jerusalem. Here's what I want you to do, he said. Wait in Jerusalem until you receive the promised Holy Spirit. Then tell everyone about me. Go from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria and then to the rest of the world. Make many disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teach them everything you learned from me. I will always be with you. <laughs> When he had said this, Jesus rose into the sky. Up he went until he disappeared into a cloud. His disciples watched him. They stood there, staring into the sky. The morning meal. Did you? Did Jesus say that he will always be with us? Yes. Yeah. Come down. Two men dressed in white appeared. Jesus has gone to heaven, they explained. He will come back in the same way. So the disciples obeyed Jesus and went to Jerusalem. <laughs> One day, Jesus will come back in the same way that he left. Yes. True or false? God's wonderful gift. Jews from all over the world were in Jerusalem for the Feast of Pentecost. Jesus' followers were there too. They gathered together, waiting for the gift Jesus had promised them. middle of the festival, God's gift arrived. It began with a sound, a sound like a howling wind that filled the house where they were waiting. Next, something that looked like fire settled on each one of them. Then, God's Holy Spirit filled everyone in the room, and he gave them power to speak different languages. Jews from other parts of the world heard them and were amazed. These people are speaking our languages, they said, and proclaiming the wonderful things God has done. This is God's gift, Peter explained. It was promised long ago. It comes to us through Jesus, the Messiah. You crucified him, but God brought him back to life. What should we do? The people asked sadly. Turn away from evil, said Peter. Believe in Jesus Christ. He will forgive your sins and give you his Holy Spirit. On that day, 3,000 people were baptized. They were just the first of many people who had come to trust in Jesus as their Savior.
how did the people show their faith after they repented and believed in Jesus? No silver, no gold. Peter and John went to the temple. A man was there at the beautiful gate who had never been able to walk. Can I have some money? He asked Peter and John. The two disciples looked right at the man. They had no money, but they had something better to give him. Look at us, said Peter. The man expected money. I don't have any silver or gold, said Peter. But I have something else that I will happily give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, said Peter. Walk! Peter took the man's hand, and the man's feet and ankles grew strong. The man got up and walked. He went with Peter and John into the temple courts. Before long, he wasn't just walking, he was jumping around and praising God. The people had seen him at the gate. They knew that he had been lame from birth. Yet, here he was, walking and leaping and thanking God. Everyone was amazed. Peter told the people about the one whose power had healed the man. He told them about Jesus. When he was done, many of them decided to follow Jesus too. Everyone was amazed when the man began to walk, and many of them decided to follow Jesus. Yes. 정답. 성성, 성성 주여 받고, 이거 읽어 드릴게요. From enemy to friend. 읽어 드릴게요. Saul was a religious man, a Pharisee. He thought that anyone who believed in Jesus was spreading a lie and should be put in prison and even put to death. Saul was going to Damascus to arrest Jesus' followers. Suddenly, a bright light surrounded him. He fell down. A voice said, Saul, why are you so cruel to me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. The voice replied, I am Jesus, the one you want to harm. Go to Damascus. There you will learn what you must do. Saul got up, but he was blind. His friends led him to a house in Damascus. Saul waited there for three days. He had nothing to eat or drink. Meanwhile, Jesus appeared in a vision to Ananias, one of his followers in Damascus. Jesus told him to go visit Saul and pray for him so he could see again. But Saul wants to arrest your followers, Ananias said, trembling. I know, said Jesus, but I want to use Saul to tell people all over the world about me. Ananias went to pray for Saul. Jesus sent me, he said, so that you may see and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Saul could see again. Then he was baptized. Jesus changed Saul from a man who hurt his followers to a church leader who told everyone about Jesus. So he changed his name as well to Paul. Saul's life was changed by Jesus, and his name was also changed to Paul. True or false? Yes. Yeah. 정답. 성성주요. 오늘은 이만큼만.
오늘 선수책에 이거 뭔데? 어땠어요? 재밌나요? 그럼 다음에 또 봐요. 빠빠이.